It took very little time for Barry Sanders to set the tone for what was to become the most exciting record-breaking season in Oklahoma State history. Let's go. Here is Conrad. Chuck Conrad with a kickoff. Boy, he has a strong leg. End over end. Sanders takes it one yard deep in the end zone. Up the middle of 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. He's at the 40. He's at 45, 50, 45, 40, 35, 30, 25, 20, 50, 10, 5. Touchdown, Cowboys. Unbelievable deja vu. Just like last year, a same start. Sanders would tally two more touchdowns as the Cowboys amass 548 yards total offense. Hartley Dykes caught eight passes for 175 yards. And Mike Gundy became OSU's career passing leader, completing 14 of 19 for 246 yards. Next to roar into Stillwater, three-time defending Southwest Conference champion Texas A&M. It was billed as the Cowboys' biggest non-conference home game in more than a decade. At Oklahoma State, was primed for battle. Even before many in the sellout crowd of 51,000 had settled in their seats, the Cowboys took command. On the game's third play, Sanders dashed 58 yards to score the first of his three touchdowns. On the ensuing kickoff, Cowboys special teams gave Gundy and company the ball at the Aggie 22. Wow. It took just two plays for Mitch Nash to make it 14 to nothing. Brandon Colbert's recovery on A&M's fourth play of the game set up Kerry Blanchard's 39-yard field goal. In a little more than five minutes, OSU had exploded for 17 points. The route was on. Gundy and Dyke share the spotlight with Sanders once again. Gundy set a school record for touchdown passes in a career with a 33-yard bomb to Dykes, who had five receptions good for 122 yards. The Cowboys would go on to thrash the Aggies 52-15, making the debut of the all-orange uniforms a smashing success. The point total was the highest scored against the Aggies since 1982 and marked the second straight game in which OSU had reached the 52-point plateau. The total dismantling of Texas A&M sent a message to the college football world that the Cowboys would once again be a force to be reckoned with in 1988. Two weeks later, the Cowboys journeyed to Boulder, Colorado to open the Big 8 conference season. An opportunistic Cowboy defense forced six turnovers leading to a 34-point explosion in the second and third quarters. Sanders' touchdown total reached impressive proportions as he tallied four more times. Gundy threw for over 200 yards, triggering a Cowboy offense that registered 440 total yards. In one of the most convincing conference road victories in OSU history, the Cowboys ripped the nationally ranked Buffaloes 41 to 21. Bedlam Battle 88, a clash of two of the nation's superpowers, 12th ranked OSU meets 8th ranked Oklahoma. The 83rd renewal of this rivalry is witnessed by a national television audience on ESPN and a standing room only crowd of over 50,000 at Lewis Field. Both teams enter the contest with 6 and 1 records and both are taking dead aim on the Big 8 championship. From the opening gun it was an offensive shootout. OSU's big three were responsible for nearly 500 yards. Sanders shredded the vaunted Sooner defense for 215 yards rushing and two touchdowns. Gundy scored a touchdown and passed for 228 yards, while Dykes caught nine passes for 123 yards and a score. 
The Cowboys staged a dramatic second-half comeback that was anchored by a fanatical defensive effort. Sanders continued to close in on the Heisman Trophy with his stunning performance against one of the top defensive units in the country. Once again, opposing players and coaches hailed Sanders as college football's finest running back. This game was one of the most emotionally charged in the history of this storied series, leaving everyone, fans and viewers alike, drained and exhausted. A once-in-a-lifetime experience awaited Cowboy players and coaches as OSU closed out the regular season against Texas Tech in the Coca-Cola Bowl in Tokyo, Japan. 56,000 packed the Tokyo Dome, lured by the opportunity to see Barry Sanders, who just hours before had been named the 1988 Heisman Trophy winner. Sanders disappointed no one, gaining an astounding 332 yards and scoring four touchdowns. His total was a new OSU single-game rushing mark and was the fourth 300-yard-plus effort for Sanders in 1988. The four touchdowns brought his NCAA single-season record to 39, 37 of them on the ground. All told, OSU piled up 610 yards total offense on their way to a thrilling 45-42 victory. The stage was set for the Cowboys' third 10-win season in the last five years. Next stop, beautiful San Diego and a SeaWorld Holiday Bowl matchup with 15th-ranked Wyoming. The 11th annual SeaWorld Holiday Bowl matched Cowboys versus Cowboys and was billed as a high-stakes battle between two of the top three offenses in college football. <laughs> Oklahoma State more than held up its part of the billing as Cowboy firepower proved simply overwhelming. Once again, the focal point is Barry Sanders. He closed out a dream season, rushing for 222 yards and five touchdowns in just three quarters of work. Naturally, he was named the game's offensive MVP. Operating behind the war pigs for the final time, Mike Gundy was nearly flawless, completing 20 of 24 passes for 315 yards and a touchdown. Half of Gundy's completions went to Hartley Dykes, who closed out a brilliant career with 10 catches, 163 yards and a touchdown. The Cowboys continued their history of postseason surprises as Sanders demonstrated his ability to throw the football. As if the Cowboys didn't have enough weapons, Kerry Blanchard added a pair of field goals and extended his school record for consecutive extra points to 81. Scoring four times in the third period, the Cowboys exploded for 45 second-half points and 698 total yards on the way to a 62-14 shelling of 11-1 Wyoming. Much of the credit for this triumph must go to a fine defensive effort. Saving its best for last, this unit smothered Wyoming's high-octane offense. Utilizing a variety of blitzes, the Cowboys recorded a season-high seven sacks, limited record-setting Wyoming quarterback Randy Welniak to just 164 yards passing, and completely shut down the Wyoming running game. Oklahoma State broke a dozen Holiday Bowl records in handing Wyoming the worst postseason defeat 
ever suffered by a Western Athletic Conference team. This most impressive victory, OSU's third bowl win and four tries under Jones, was a fitting finale for the highly successful careers of the Cowboys seniors. Wildfire. At the same time, it provided a showcase for a bevy of young standouts who promise a bright future for OSU. With Gerald Hudson and Vernon Brown returning along with Sanders, the Cowboys will have three of the most talented backs in the country in 1989. Other impressive offensive operatives include Lee Keith, Cecil Wilson, and Chris Smith. Nine starters return on defense, including such standouts as Stacy Satterwhite, Reuben Oliver, Jay Fleshman, Mike Clark, Devin Jones, Brandon Colbert, and Holiday Bowl defensive MVP, Sim Drain III. The performance of these up-and-coming stars provides exciting momentum for 1989. A superbly executed runaway victory in the SeaWorld Holiday Bowl. A thrilling climax to the most memorable season in Oklahoma State football history. We've got a very, very proud organization, a proud staff, a proud squad. And I'd just like to say this again, that everybody associated with this university and this football program will keep on going on to bigger and better things.